So we have 14 bunches of leeks, so I'm going to add 4 teaspoons of salt. So, green pepper to add in it. We have some chili peppers here that are not serrano and are not overly spicy. We're chopping up two chili peppers to add to our leeks with salt. Uh, it's coriander, so I'm going to add uh, one enough uh, teaspoon of coriander. Okay, one. And off. Not that much. That much of oil. So this is chili no. powder, red chili powder. So I'm going to add a little bit. So it should be a little bit spicy, not too, because I'm going to take a little bit. So that much. Rika is not only mixing the, the leek with the spices, she's really massaging it to get the essence and the flavor activated. Shortcut. Instead of making the dough from scratch, we're going to use wonton wrappers that you could easily no, no, buy no, no. in the grocery store or at the Asian store. So I uh, usually I'm when whenever I'm making this so why I'm taking this part because it goes inside so it is like it has flour so I'm going to take this side inside one I'm going to put it like this is water okay I'm going to I'm going to do it like this yeah now you'll notice that Riga has placed the dumpling wrappers, the or wonton wrappers, flour mm -hmm. side up. So this is the leeks. I'm going to put it here. So two opposite sides. Take it like this. Oops. Take you are going to make it like this. After that, for design, you can do it like this. She's coating the inside of the dumpling pan with oil so the dumplings do not stick during the yes. cooking process. And she's doing it to every layer that, of the dumpling steamer that she's using. We, I'm going to see a little bit oily and I'm going to put it here because uh, if sometimes it happen, it stick sometimes. So be careful because it's cooking. So you can put so you can see Rika is stacking and layering the dumplings and putting them in the dumpling steamer. See the water is going, so I'm going to put this. Yeah, I'm going to put this. So first, after that, I'm going to put this. So for 20 minutes, we are going to, or maybe 15 minutes, we are going to put it, oh, sorry, it has water, I think. Once the water comes to a boil, you're going to add your dumplings. Make sure that they are sealed totally because you don't want the contents to leak out during the boiling process. They're going to boil for six to seven, eight minutes max. So this water is salted and it has some oil in it. And now we are adding our dumplings, our ashak, mm -hmm. and we're gonna cook them anywhere from six, seven, or eight min minutes. Okay, our ashak are ready, they're bubbling, and they come to the top of the surface when they are ready. Add the drained onions into the oil once the oil is hot. Yeah. So for the ground beef, we have eight grated cloves of garlic. It has been frying for almost seven minutes, so and now we are adding the garlic to the onion. You want to saute the garlic for about one minute. Add more oil if necessary. We are going to add ground beef. Teaspoon of salt. 
Add two teaspoons of salt to your ground beef. Yeah. Pop of turmeric. Now we're adding about one teaspoon of ground black pepper to the ground beef mixture with the turmeric and the salt. Yeah. grated tomato to your ground meat Start mixture. Adding. Additional tomato puree to the meat yeah, mixture. So, adding two more tip, uh, tablespoon of tomato sauce. Do you have any? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, two. Uh, oil, because... How long does it take to strain the yogurt? It will take maybe one hour. We're making chaka, which is the yogurt sauce. And we've let the yogurt drain to get rid of some of the liquid. So for the chaka, we're going to be adding some, our grated garlic. We are adding some salt. We are now assembling the ashak. We're putting the meat sauce on top of the chaka. Yeah, I have to first take out this because it's too cooked. Yeah. But it is a pill. Yeah. 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 Ye